Hello and welcome to 5 Minutes Anatomy. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the gaps of the pharynx. Gaps of the pharynx. As we all know, the, the pharynx is divided into circular muscle and longitudinal muscle. Mainly, I'm going to talk about the circular muscle. We will begin with the superior constrictor muscle of the pharynx. Then we have the middle constrictor muscle of the pharynx. And finally, we have the inferior constrictor muscle of the pharynx. And this is the base of the skull. And perhaps here is the larynx. So what are the gaps that are present inside the pharynx? First, we have the first gap which lies here and it lies in between the base of the skull and the superior border of superior constrictor. And it is not a true gap because it is lying by the pharyngeal basilar fascia. However, this fascia is pierced by structures like muscle, tube, and an artery. Street, street structures pass through this fascia. The muscle is the levator palati, levator palati, and the tube is the auditory tube, auditory. And finally, the artery is the ascending palatine branch. Ascending palatine. This is the first gap. Then the second gap I'm going to talk about is this gap, which lies between the superior constrictor and middle constrictor muscle. And it lies, as we see from the photo, it lies laterally. This muscle is out this gap is pierced by a muscle and a nerve a muscle and a nerve and both have the suffix pharyngeus to their names so the muscle is the stylo pharyngeus muscle and the nerve is the glosso pharyngeal nerve the third gap we are going to talk about is that lies between the middle constrictor and inferior constrictor and is and it is not a true gap because it is occupied by the sirohyoid membrane and however the presence of that membrane it is pierced by a nerve and an artery the nerve is the internal laryngeal nerve while the artery is a superior laryngeal artery we have also the gap between the two parts of the inferior constrictor and it is of no significant importance except that it is called Kalian dehesion and in abnormality in pathology this ultrapharynx may cause a patch in here Finally, we have a gap between the inferior constrictor and the pharynx, and this gap contains or gave passage to a nerve and an artery. The nerve is the recurrent laryngeal nerve, while the artery is the inferior laryngeal artery. Thank you for the tutorial.